good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Thursday the 8th of August. We opened our worship this evening with a piece of music entitled Evening by Eric Eschenveltz. Kindling Spirit come, inflame our waiting hearts. Consoling Spirit come, you know our every need. We gather in the presence of the God of wholeness, in the presence of compassion's Son, in the presence of the healing Spirit. Tonight may we be one. Christ is always present when we gather in his name. Tonight we welcome him as healer. This evening we continue our series of readings from the book of Revelation. Tonight, chapter 13. Then I saw another beast that rose out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, and it spoke like a dragon. It causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be given a brand on the right hand or the forehead so that no one can buy or sell who does not have the brand, that is, the name of the beast, or the number for its name. This calls for wisdom. Let anyone with understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a person. Its number is 666. Thanks be to God. And now, <clears throat> this evening's reflection. The idea of the number of the beast has spread far and wide in popular culture, and along with the number 13 is considered an evil omen and an enduring basis for conspiracy theories. We should heed the call for wisdom and note that 666 is part of the specific coded language of Revelation. It could be interpreted as Nero Caesar or Beast or simply three times less than perfection. We might say imperfection cubed since seven indicated perfection or completion according to the conventions of this style of writing. Six fall short of perfection. The beast here is also the second of two beasts in this chapter. The first emerges from the sea and appears to have survived a mortal wound, a miracle that brings the nations to worship it. The second beast coming out of the earth looks like a lamb, suggesting innocence and goodness, but speaks like a dragon, and we know the true identity of the dragon. It extends the power of the first beast and with its number or brand controls the marketplace. Jesus spoke forcefully and frequently about the deceptive power of wealth, which holds out the false promise that a fulfilled, perfected life can be bought and sold like any commodity. Rather than worrying about a 666 house number or car registration, we would do better to apply some wise thinking to the ways we use and are used by the economic systems of our world. Amen. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The day's end, darkness descends. Now, Lord, let troubles cease. 
Let your servant depart in peace. Labours are over, my task here done. Now, Lord, your victory be won. Lord, when everything trembles, give me a firm foundation. Faith founded on facts, prayers founded on your presence, life founded on your love, peace founded on your power. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Amen. <laughs> 